Welcome back to NC Bassin. We made it 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for everybody that subscribed. I'm back on a Tuesday tournament. You guys are probably getting tired of it. If you guys have any ideas, put them in the comments. Lakes you want me to fish at, ideas for challenge videos or anything, just put them in the comments. I'll take them into consideration. I'm trying to get some new ideas for the channel. We made 1,000 subscribers, so I need to really start picking up the content. I like fishing Tuesday tournaments, so I don't know if you guys are getting tired of them yet, but they're fun. Six dollars to the entry. It's fun to do. That's why that's why I keep doing them. But and I love to compete and it's the cheapest way I can compete. But hopefully today they're biting. It's 30 degrees right now, it's freezing. It might be tough. The water's cleared up a good little bit. I mean it's almost back to normal Lake Norman color, but it's still pretty stained. It rained a lot last night. I'm kind of surprised. It's almost back down to normal oil level. It's still a little bit high, but it's dropping. But the fishing might be tough today, guys. I don't know. We'll see. It's cold right now. I haven't checked the water temperature, but we got 10 or 12 boats here already, maybe even more coming. So we'll see how that goes. I'm surprised that many people are showing up, but the big one should be biting the full moons tomorrow. But that, I mean, they had the night tournament. So a lot of these fish are feeling pressure at night right now. I mean, these guys are catching big fish at night. It's tough in the day right now. And my confidence is low, but hopefully we'll catch them on the days. It seems like the days I don't expect to catch them, we catch them and when when I expect to catch them, I don't catch them. So we'll see how the day goes. I, I still hope we can catch a few. I'm going to try cranking. Hopefully the colder water gets the cranking bite. Water temperature's probably dropped a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Damn, baby, for some reason. Fish on. Yes. There we go. And he come off. Did he come off? No, he's tiny. Still on there. It's very small. Hey, he's not that bad. It's a largemouth. Yes, finally. I doubt he's gonna go 14, but hey, we'll take him. Thirteen and three quarters though, he's close. Yes, there's bait back here, guys. Finally found some fish. Finally. You got one. Oh, man. Spinnerbait fish, though. He hit it twice. Another largie. Should I even keep... I mean, he, he ate it. Another largemouth. Should I even keep him? Oh, gosh. Got his eye, I think. Oh, I don't want to keep this fish. It's so tiny, but we get 214. Are you... Well, I'm going home. I'm aggravated. That's the last thing you want to happen on tournament day. Lost the prop. Only had like an hour and 15 minutes left anyways. It's not like I was catching them, but I was hoping the 150 bridge will work out. It didn't. I'm gonna go get a prop now. I'm just aggravated. Can't catch fish. I'm getting tired of coming up here and not catching them. I've been on a little slump lately, but. Well, after losing the trolling motor prop this morning, I'm at the pond trying to salvage a video at least and hopefully catch something. I usually get skunked here, but there's always a chance for a giant fish. There's two fish over seven pounds in here, or hopefully they're still in here. Somebody hasn't caught them, but, or, or they died. But, See how it goes if I can catch a big one. It's tough to catch a fish here, but last time I came, I did catch two dinks, but couldn't make a video. Let's see how it goes. Got one. God, he hammered it. Might be a big one. Never know with this pond. Oh my, I got a flathead catfish. What the heck? I got a flathead catfish. Who the heck put catfish in this pond? My gosh. It's kind of cool, man. Look at the size of that catfish. Somebody put these in here. I've yet to see or catch a catfish, but I've seen chicken livers in here, so I should have known. That's a channel. 
Not even a flathead. I hate that it's in here because that just takes food away from the bass. He's been eating all the bluegill. I mean, it's kind of cool, but that's what I seen in the shallows last time. That. Oh, we're about to get off. Barely hooked. Quit twisting. There we go. Old channel catfish. Didn't really fight at first. I mean, I thought he was like a three pound bass. Man, who put these in here? I mean, well, he's not a small guy, I'll tell you that much. Oh my, I don't know if these grippers are. I should have brought my big grippers. Oh, they barely fit. I got a battery for my scale. Almost 11, 10, 67. You don't see that every day. Big old channel cat. Big ugly. Man, I kind of want to not let it go because that's eating all the bluegill that the bass need to eat. Somebody put this in here, I'm sure. Well, guys, 10.67. 30 inch long channel. I hate that they're in here. I kind of, I hope somebody catches them and eats them. Somebody put these in here probably, but they might have been in here. It's like I ever catfish. And I've seen chicken livers here one time. I should have known they were in here. This is probably what I've seen take off in the shallows that one day. I thought it was a giant bass last time, but, or a few times ago, but he's huge. 30 inches long. My scaling goes up to 24 inches, but I had to pull it back over to do it. He's huge. Just, let him go, put up the fight on the chatterbait. There's a lot of people catch catfish on chatterbaits, I'm telling you. Uh, big old giant. And if I caught a bass that was 10, 6, 7, that would have been the greatest day ever. Stupid catfish. There he goes. Well, let's try to catch a bass that size. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Oh, he's not big, but... On the right, wacky rig. He jumped. He gave himself away a minute ago. Third cast over there. I finally got him to eat it, but as soon as he hit the water that time, he got it. Little guy. Little riot baits baton right here. There's there are little bass in this pond. There's a few little ones. This thing right here is awesome, guys little baton this thing has a crazy fall like wacky rig this thing goes crazy compared to even a Cinco it just wobbles everywhere and it's muddy water that you really need that but even in clear water it's just action they can't stand there's one. Oh, I lost him yeah jump like a smallmouth Oh, there's one. He's tiny. You pull out the wacky rig, you catch the big ones. But all three, there's two little willow trees over here, and they're on both of them. I'm surprised they're not in the reeds, but the reeds are really shallow. Oh, man. That's food for the seven pounders and that 10 pound catfish. There he is. And he's another little guy. Tiny guys on the the baton. They're eating it though. It's probably a good thing though, there's all these little bass in here that can grow up. Little guy. Baton. Oh man, I wish my camera didn't die. He ate it off the top. I slid it out of that algae and he slammed it. These fish are shallow. And he ate it, ate it. Battery's dead. It's about to turn off. But there's another white little tiny bass. Can't catch the big ones, but... They are liking this. That's the most fish I've caught here in a long time. 
like a little bit right base baton wacky rigged all oh, day the right baits little baton caught a lot of fish today but they were all tiny but it's the most bass i've caught here in a long time but they were not even a pound but what four of them i caught but better day than I had like norman caught a giant catfish but it's on a bladed jig that's weird to even do but i mean at least i didn't think it was a giant bass he rolled and i could tell he's a catfish but still they're probably in here eating all the bluegill and taking away the bass food it kind of makes me wonder how many's in here but it also makes me wonder i hooked a giant a long time ago on a ribbon tail worm out deep and it felt huge and it was probably a catfish i guarantee it now it was just pulling it felt like it was probably a catfish back then but who knows how many's in here but caught a few lake norman was terrible today but caught a few at the pond i'll take it warm weather's coming so the videos are about to get better and we'll see you on the next video